Hi guys, it's April. I want to bring you a tiny book haul. And by tiny I mean tiny, because it's truly tiny this time and not the could be tiny. See, it's 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 a tiny book haul. It's tiny. I mean tiny this time. So even though it was my birthday month, I actually didn't go as crazy as I could have gone. I've got a box on the way that I'll hopefully show you later, which is a completely different story, but I have five books in my tiny book haul to show you, so let's begin. The first book that I bought this month was an ebook. It was Peter Pan by Jenny James. Now, these Jenny James books are kind of a... What's the word I'm looking for? They're a guilty pleasure for me. I... Because she, she writes romance with fairy tales, and she just put out Peter Pan and Peter Pan being one of my all-time favorite stories. I had to pick it up. So I got that. And you'll probably see that in my wrap-up, so I won't go too far into that. Yeah. I just said yeah. That was weird. I'm not going to do that again. Next up is An Ember in the Ashes by Sabah Tahir. Uh, everybody's been talking about this book. I saw this book, I picked up this book, I petted this book, so I bought this book. The synopsis pretty much goes, there is a young girl, Leia, whose brother is taken in by the Empire because he's accused of being part of the Resistance. So she goes undercover as a slave to try to get him out, and she goes into this Warriors Academy to try to pick up secrets where she meets and learns about all that goes on with the mask. I'll leave it at that. And then, for my birthday, my boyfriend decided to get me books because he knows me so well. And the first one I got is a sushi recipe book. I think he's trying to tell me something. I like sushi. I don't know how well I am going to be at making sushi, but you don't know until you try. So I'm going to be trying to make some sushi. And then there was this beautiful, beautiful graphic novel edition of The Last Unicorn by Peter S. Beagle. I, I don't know what to say about The Last Unicorn because I love The Last Unicorn and, you know, the art in this graphic novel is absolutely beautiful, full color, and I love it. It's perfect. I mean, even even the little, little illustration on the back. Can't go wrong. And finally, in my teeny tiny little book haul, is The Greatest Salesman in the World. My grandmother decided I needed to read this. I have no idea what it's about. I'll let you know when I finally get to it. So that is my teeny tiny book haul and my teeny tiny video. I'm hoping to have an unboxing soon and I heart you the beautiful faces. Bye! <laughs> Silent scream. My tiny book haul. Bloop, bloop, bloop. It was Peter Pan. Pa, pa, it was Peter Pan. Oh, looky. Can you, can you see my elbow?